Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Never Age TV. And guys, there is always that first time that you buy the, uh, an item that excites you in life. <laughs> I want to talk about the day I bought a car. <laughs> guys, <laughs> I had gone to a driving school and I had um, known how to drive. I was even given a license. But guys, you know, with the driving, you don't get very experienced until you get to drive a few times after the school. So I went and I was given the driving license. And because I bought a car already, I was dying to find myself driving on the roads. <laughs> and the place I wanted to drive to very, very, very much was to the village where I was born. Guys, do you know why I wanted to drive there? I wanted them to go there so that I can be seen by the girls I went to school with. That I bought a car. <laughs> so guys, I couldn't wait to drive there. And the day came. When I woke up one morning and decided today is the day I'm driving my new car to the village. I remember it was on a Sunday. And guys, I was so anxious that that Saturday I didn't sleep. <laughs> I could even sleep and dream that I'm driving home. And um, actually, from the day I was given the, the road license to, to the day I drove home, I had not even gone to the road alone. I went to the road a few times, but with my brother, who could uh, sit by me as I drove and he kept on correcting me and telling me not to be nervous and you know what makes people uh, uh, mess up on the roads is uh, uh, like first first time drivers is the nervousness I was so nervous that <laughs> I've never tried to be very perfect but because of the nervousness you end up messing up so I was very nervous and whenever I was um, actually having gone through the course, the driving uh, course, I was a driver, yes. But um, the fear, the fear, you know the fear, the fear of uh, holding that steering alone, alone on the road was still eating up in my flesh and I was not very sure of myself because it takes, it takes self-confidence for you to go out there and drive on a highway <laughs> so guys hey do you know what kind of a car I had bought it was a manual car and I was very happy because uh, actually the driving school that I went to I was trained with a manual car and I think it is the case with every driver did you go to school and uh, uh, where you are trained uh, with a, an automatic car I don't think so every person that I know was trained with a manual car and uh, this is the car that I, I, I knew how to change gears I knew how to change gears I knew how to how to operate the car so uh, my problem was like uh, when changing lanes on the road that was my predicament and especially hey if darkness could catch up with me out there I, wa I was not seeing you know the way you look on the side mirror so that you can change your lane? I could not tell the difference between the light that I'm seeing from the back and the, I mean, uh, the distance. And I could change lanes and uh, I, I could imagine how, 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 how difficult it would be for me to drive at night. But this particular time that I, I decided to drive, I made sure that I woke up very early so I could drive in good time go to the village and come back in good time before darkness because what I feared most was darkness and I also um, uh, I mean um, made up my mind that the rain that I'll take I'll not change unless very very necessary because I, I my problem was changing the rains I could instead of checking the vehicle from the side mirror uh, uh, to see that I, if, if I was comfortable in changing, I, if it was, it was the, the right time to change a lane, I was, the car was, now that my eye is, is, is looking on the side mirror, I was, get, I mean, losing, uh, losing balance and, 
and now you know the vehicle was drifting because this time my eye has just turned to, to check on the side mirror and now uh, the vehicle would drift and go change i go to the to the wrong lane so it was very very dangerous guys and i think uh, driving is not just going to class driving uh, you take it takes um it takes courage it takes uh it takes what? It takes courage and it takes uh, a lot of practice because uh, it needed that I practice at home and in the small uh, roads, if I should so call them small roads of the estate, so that I, I get to gain experience fast. And that is what did not happen because I really wanted to go to the village and show off my car. <laughs> I really wanted to go and show off my car guys so the day came and I woke up very early and I drove home guys hey let me tell you something and by the way it was a second hand car <laughs> it did not have any mechanical issues so I drove surprisingly I drove very well out of the, uh, the estate I joined uh, the main road and uh, being a Sunday, th there was no much traffic on the roads. And um, I joined a highway, it's called Thika Super Highway. I joined the Super Highway and continued driving very carefree and very slowly. Remember, I was alone. I was alone. And guys, I went and went. Those that know should stay on uh, the, the Thika Super Highway. I went up to a place called Ruiro. You see, I had gone very far. I had gone very far. Now, guys, you can already tell what I'm about to say. Because having said I had gone very far, you can imagine something must have happened. <laughs> guys, hey, hey, I do not know what happened. But the next thing I heard was that I had hit somebody from the back. Somebody was ahead of me. I think I was trying to check on changing the lane. And then I forgot that there was still a car that was moving uh, in, I mean, uh, towards the, the front direction and had to be monitored and maneuvered in the, in, you know, that was my problem. I was, the minute I would turn my head like this, I would, the car would drift, yet I'm holding the steering. So I hit somebody at the back and thank God it was not a very, um, a severe accident but I no one was hurt but guys <laughs> let me tell you drive with somebody on the highway it was an issue where the police had to be called and the rest is history guys drive with somebody unless very experienced and don't get excited uh, to go show off your, your new New bought car and rest, you are very sure of yourself. Guys, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.